Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers, the movie studio series 86. Um, this is 31, this is Optimus Prime from the movie. As you see here is a lot here. <laughs> He's a big guy, He's much bigger than the uh, Earthrise version. And I'd like to point out one thing real quick, uh, since I'm kind of late to the game, because a lot of people have already reviewed it, I'm going to review them the other way, starting in VO come out and getting to the bot mode. But before we do any of that, let's just move him aside and uh, t take a look at the box. And I should note that it did come with instructions and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And then the box is just a big end. Now, of course, it's Commander class, so why not? It then shows his different forms and then the iconic scene from the movie uh, where he jumps up and converts uh, side of the box back of the box of course it shows the base form here's a, a roller with the, the equipment on it here's like his repair bay form and a truck form of course there is a backdrop which i'll show in a minute and then the final side and then the top of the box and the display piece is this which is the scene from when he was fighting megatron and of course uh, megatron falls over that edge there so, yeah, that's that. Now, getting to Optimus, uh, it pegs in straight up like here, and it rolls really well, uh, if not a little bit of squeak. And, um, yeah, he looks pretty good. I mean, he is really, like, full-sizing it. Now, my only real complaint, other than the fact that I had to fix the toes, uh, and I'll explain how I did it when I get there, um, these things are just loose, so you really should be locking in. I think this is not an uncommon issue i I'm, i believe other people have had this same problem they're just free roaming and i and i you know, it's a little annoying for this price clash you know but uh we'll move the tr uh the truck aside and get to the trailer the trailer has the standard kickstand that a if a truck was loading it it would uh, kick back when it you know attached to the hitch as trucks do uh but if you don't want to use that one then you have the heavy duty one that's reminiscent of the uh g 1G2 uh, back end, uh, which had this whole stand situation, just really heavy duty. And um, before we get too far, let's just take a quick look at it. I mean, my goodness, that is fantastic. Uh, the accuracy on it, uh, just the detail, uh, way better than what was with Earthrise. And it's just fantastic. Uh, <laughs> the one thing I don't miss is I have the Generation 2 and it has a hole cut out here for the sound box. Uh, but uh, before we get too far, there is a hidden compartment back here. And if you pull that piece forward, this is where the little blast effects are. And uh, because we have them, I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to stick this a little bit to the side here. And the blast effects fit a specific way. So you really can't mess it up. Although, I'm going to do a good job messing it up. Okay, let's see. Uh, here we go. So we got, we got these. And these blast effects have a little pe uh, peg on top. And uh, they're rather straightforward. Uh, let's see. I want to take him. There's these slots in here. And you can... I don't know which one. This is the best way. Here's this. There, got one in. Got the other end. Here we go. That's... That's, that's the stuff. It's... I'm taking off. Yeah. That's... That's neat. Anyway, we'll put these back in here, and then uh, let's just uh, toss them in here. There's plenty of room, so you don't really have to worry about positioning. Anyway, uh, just make sure everything is flat. Then close this back up, and now we're back to the trailer. And uh, pull this down, and uh, it does go way down, and open it up, and here we go, the inside. Now, uh, of course, you can do this version of it here, uh, but it's a little bigger than probably I have space for on screen. But other blast effects it includes is two of these, uh, like blaster effects. And there is a blaster. Everything mounts nicely on the trailer. So, but yeah, this blaster, unlike the recent releases where this is black, you actually do kind of a gun metal, which I'm okay with it. There's a nice difference. Um, the bits all fit in here rather nicely. Uh, 
so basically, if you don't want the axe on one side, you want the gun on the other side, you can switch them. But the 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 blast of the other blast effects are um, pretty much keyed to one side or the other. I mean, they can they can interchange, but that's the only two places they can each fit. And as I am struggling, you know what? I'm going to keep this off because we're actually going to use it. And uh, this one here is the axe. Now, when you get them, Optimus is in this bot form. Uh, roller is separate. Here's roller. And then the, the equipment is also separate, as well as all the blast effects are in a baggie. And uh, I do appreciate the longer arm, because I think they kind of cheapened out for the um, Earthrise one. I can't get the claw open. It opens. There's a bit. Here, come on, claw. There we go. I cut my fingernails. That was my mistake. There we... And then there's the satellite dishy. I think it's an antenna of some type. And, uh, yeah, it can go this tall. Get it all in screen there. Um, does this actually open? Oh, yeah, this even opens for a little guy if you have one of the pilots from the uh, Japanese series, I guess. I don't know if it's to scale. Definitely not Battle Master, Headmaster, whatever scale, but, uh, you know, it's, it's cool. Uh, let's see. Can we? Yeah, we can. We'll close this, fold this back up, and... Uh, I don't know how to put this back. I'm gonna figure it out like, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, here we go. And then he just simply uh, plugs into here. And uh, I'll show you, here's the clearance when you close it. And um, you place the ax in facing this way and uh, it closes just fine. Oh, actually, this arm is still incorrectly placed. Maybe if I do that. There we go. So that's what that looks like. And uh, and then, of course, Roller attaches to these two clips here. And uh, he, he stays in place, so that's really nice. So let's put this up like this. And we'll stick this right here. Now, Optimus. Uh, he rolls really well with or without the trailer. Uh, my only concern is the little piece that the tires connect on the front here. It's not great. Uh, they look a little crooked. I don't know how well you can tell. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, it, was a, it was a little bit of a... I, I, I got most of the conversion done without having to look at the instructions. But then there was a couple parts where I really did have to look. So here are the feet. They were wrong when I got this. Uh, you should see there is some white spots here that's from pulling the peg out i uh, the method on the internet had um people taking a drill bit and just forcing it through uh i tried that initially which is why there's there's a little bit more damage on this one than that one uh it stressed it too much so what i did was i used a small hammer and tapped it two times and that pull uh, pushed enough of the peg out for me to grab it with a pair of pliers change the bits and then uh two more times tapped it back in and uh, made sure it was uh, flush and, and that worked rather well as you see that stretch mark isn't here because then you know well there's a barely any because i did it with the hammer instead of the force um yes the force i am a force wielder but uh yes yeah, it's actually pretty good um the one thing i couldn't figure out without the instructions was that the waist kind of partitioned down because i was like there's, there's there's supposed to be extra weight that locks in here and this is all being covered up by the uh the wheel but as we start, we obviously going to disconnect the tires, which are pegged in to these bits here. And this is a softer plastic, I think, on, on one of these two, because it's just not keeping shape. But, I mean, otherwise, I mean, it looks fantastic. And uh, we're going to go through and uh, start taking it apart. Now, um, I want to pull these out of the cab, and these can just lock down here. And if I want to flip these up, I can to complete the feet and flip this down. And uh, you can see this is the back of the foot because uh, here's what the front will look like eventually. Fold in the tires. And be careful. These are like rubber. Um, not that I've done it yet, but I feel like you could accidentally just rip them off. Uh, so these, when they get put in here, are pegged in, in two different places up here and in the side of the leg here. Uh, but uh, when you flip it back, you, of course, want to uh, turn them 180 degrees on the top piece. 
because you want the colors to all match and they slide into these grooves here and if you're trying to convert to robot mode, um, robot mode, vehicle mode, obviously you're following the opposite steps. But I mean, we already we already got the uh, t bottom part done. That, it was that simple. Um, we're gonna disconnect the legs, and then there's these pieces that are around the side here. Oh, can I get them? Yeah, uh, they clip here, and then the pieces that go between the toes. Do not forget these. I know some people forgot and they accidentally messed up their legs. Uh, don't forget the, those pieces um, before and after. Those, those are part of the conversion. Those are what hold the trailer together. And then, of course, uh, these have uh, clip, well, clips, more slots and uh, pegs. But uh, here we go. And then underneath, you see his uh, crotch piece here. Of course, it folds into position. And uh, there we go. So we got all of this front end here. And uh, as you see, these are just free flowing, like I said before. Uh, it's super annoying. These pieces back here are, are actually in the, the gut region when he's in bot mode. Uh, they kind of just uh, swivel on a rail, I guess. Anyway, so what I want to do here is disconnect the top here and do it on both sides. The connection on mine is actually pretty good. As long as you make sure your shoulders are flush where they should be, uh, then you can... Let's see if I can get it as I accidentally bump the camera. Move these panels forward uh, so they're kind of out of the way. And uh, you can free this panel here. Uh, if you want to free the arms, you can. I'm just going to turn them right now this way. Um, you might want to move the smokestacks out of the way. So let's flip this. And let's see. I'm going to move the arms forward like this. And then... The head is hidden behind here. Give me a sec. Pull this this way. Pull this this way. Because you see they're kind of like on ball joints. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. Fold this down. And this exposes the uh, front gut. Because we're going to slowly swing this around. Mine is stuck here. Once you get it, it's like kind of stuck. Um, let's see if I can put uh, pressure on it to flow it on. As you notice, his antenna are forward. I have not tried to unstick this yet i'm trying not to mess anything up in the process uh but it is oh there you go so put pressure forward on the clip here and uh, then you can unlock his head uh, before you fold it over this piece needs to fold in like this and then you convert him and fix his antenna so antenna fixed you got dad bod prime okay so we're slowly flipping things around uh, the pieces here on the side, flip them up because you need to flip the body around and they're going to be in the way otherwise. And there we go. And uh, going to continue with folding things up. So the grill folds in. And I probably didn't have to undo everything I had done before, but uh, I like having the extra space for my fingers to get in there. But uh, we pull the arms forward and they kind of like lock into place, I guess. And then you can fold the backpack back in. And then you can fold down these panels. And they fill in the gaps nicely back here. And then finally, we're down to the hands. Let's pull the arms out. And um, if you remember the Seekers from like Earthrise, they have that similar uh, hiding mechanic. And then I can't remember which side does which. There we go. This is the lower end compartment. And you see how his fist is in there. So that, uh, flip that out. Fold that back up and position his arm back into place. His hands do open. It's a uh, main finger and three fingers. So you can do pointings and whatnot. Okay, so we'll close that back a little bit. And then we'll try to duplicate that on here. There we go. Make sure the hand is in the correct place. Flip the arm around. Get the smoke stacks, smoke stacks back up. Let me show you this real quick. So there's like this tab sticking out here. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's what they're supposed to latch onto, and they're just not doing a good job of it. And uh, making sure everything else is pushed back in. And uh, here we go. Then we can give him his blaster. 
and uh, yes, he can fight. Well, he can't fire it. Obviously, it's not you know that type of function, but uh, it uh, it's decent enough. Uh, so there is a matrix. It, it I think it's the same as the the ones in Earthrise and stuff. It looks the same size. Uh, it is pegged in here. I'm really kicking myself for cutting my nails before I did this. Okay, so here's the matrix. Um, this is pretty much same as before with a little five millimeter peg in the back. So not nothing too fancy. And then here's the cavity. Okay, then you just stick it back in. And uh, there we go. So very simple. And then you just close this back up. So let's take a slightly closer look at him. Look at all that detail. That is fantastic. And he is top heavy. I almost dropped him for a second there. Now, and I, this is probably saturated color because of all the red here, but uh, decent enough, though. I mean, he's, he looks legit. Okay, so I got him here. What am I going to do? I'm going to compare him to the Earthrise one. Look at that. Look at the difference in mass. That is night and day. Just um, the coloring is right. The uh, Let's see. Uh, the detail is a little bit better. I mean, this is a little bit stylized, obviously. This is the deeper grill. This is, this, is, this is cartoon. This is maybe more toy etic. And then, of course, um, let's see if I can get his hand open. Both hands do have the the finger bit going on there. Oh, he's French now. Well, okay. Come on. There we go. Uh, ooh la la. Okay. Here we go. Heck. Man, these uh, fingers are a little tight. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. And then his fingers, his are all on one joint. But, uh, I mean, even their hands are different sizes. Just looking at them like this. A lot less backpack on the uh, Earthrise guy, but uh, a lot more detail on the Studio Series one. So, yeah. I mean, just look at the faces comparatively. Like, you could barely tell that Earthrise Optimus Prime got eyes because he's black, uh, like black or dark blue, like navy blue. Uh, in the visor area there, but in this one, he's, he's gray everywhere, which is the cartoon. So, a lot, uh, a lot easier to tell. But with that said, I mean, fantastic. Let's try the base right here. And yes, he does stand in there, more or less. And uh, we can put the gun back. There's a little clip here that catches on the piece that's right here, if I can get it. There we go. And uh, that's Studio Series Optimus, man, and he's fantastic. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.